Hey everybody, it's Jen and Roman here. Today we're going to have a class on yoga for people with cerebral palsy with a focus on the lower leg, the foot and ankle and the calf area and the front of the shin. A lot of people with cerebral palsy have tightnesses in these areas, so we're gonna see what we can do to help. Roman has cerebral palsy and he's gonna be demonstrating uh, the poses alongside me. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with self-massage, okay? Let's just get some blood moving in that part of our body. So um, if it's accessible to you, grab hold of your foot and we're gonna use our thumb, start at the heel and massage it all the way up to the toes. Maybe fan out at the bottom of your, your foot. Um, if you have access to two hands, then go ahead and use both of your hands and if none of that works for you, just ask someone to help you, okay? So we're just starting with some massage. Good, grab hold of your big toe. Let's um, just massage it and move it through a range of motion, okay? Just getting some blood flow into that joint. And everyone has a different range of motion. So maybe yours only moves a tiny bit. Maybe it's very mobile. Good, let's grab hold of our heel. Mm-hmm and just massage up, stroking up the Achilles tendon in the back, which gets super tight in lots of people. Good, all the way up. The Achilles tendon, it, it, it really, the whole fascia on the bottom of your foot turns into that Achilles tendon and it goes all the way up and it fans out into your calf muscles up here. So let's just do the whole length of that, go all the way up, good. All right, switch feet. So start with your, your uh, thumb on your heel and stroke it up into the toes. Good. Mm -hmm. Do that a few times. Grabbing hold of that toe and rocking it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Good. Grab hold of the heel and stroke up the length of the Achilles tendon all the way up through your calf. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's not forget the tops of our feet. So with your fingers that match up with your toes, we'll just stroke up the front of our foot. Yes. Good. All right. See what we have next. Ah, okay. Resistance bands. So if you have some, you have a resistance band, feel free to use it. If you don't have a resistance band, you can use literally anything like a belt or a tie or anything, right? So what we're gonna do is wrap it around your foot. Mm-hmm. And bring your hand out to the side here. And then we're just gonna bring this foot in. So I'm, I'm using the resistance band to create resistance and I'm fighting against it. I'm pulling with my hands in the opposite direction and letting my foot turn in. This you'll feel all on the inside of your leg here. Mm -hmm. Got it wrong? Mm -hmm. Good. You could keep your heel right on the mat. Yep, there you go. And that helps keep it steady. Good, well, um, for the sake of time, we'll move on. However, if you're doing this at home, I would say do um, uh, maybe 10 to 12 reps of that. Okay, and now the other foot. Got it wrapped around my big toe. And hold it out to the side and bring it in. Mm-hmm. Keep your heel on the mat. Can you keep your heel on the mat? There you go. Mm-hmm. As long as you're feeling the resistance, that's the way to do it. Good. Okay. So now we're going to wrap it around, but this time we're wrapping it around the little toe. And pull your hand out this way. There you go. Now I have it wrapped around my right 
little toe. So my left foot is going to come and step on it. Other side. Yep. There you go. And now I can move my pinky toe out to the side and I have resistance on that. Mm -hmm. And that's getting the muscles all on this side of my leg. Strengthening, strengthening up the ankle. Mm -hmm. Got it right? Good. All right, now let's wrap it around the left. Pinky toe. Good. Right foot steps on it. And then I bring my left pinky toe out to the side. That's it. Good. And again, do 10 to 12 reps. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's hook it here on the bottom of the foot. Straighten my leg out. And sit up. There you go. And we're just pointing the foot against that band. Good. And that is really targeting my calf muscles. Good. And we do that on both sides, of course. So hook it around. Sitting up straight. Take a breath. And point. Good. Great. Okay. Yes. One more with that resistance band. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand up. Okay. Step on it. And we hook our other foot in there. Now, this is a big old balance thing. Well, so you can start with just stepping like that. Yeah, there you go. Room. Back up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Now, if you need help balancing, either hold on to your friend or hold on to the wall or hold on to a counter or a table or something, okay? And the way this is working is our feet are, ra are wrapped in it and we're balancing on one foot and lifting the other, pointing and flexing the foot. Yep, and this helps get the front of your leg, right in front of your shin, the anterior compartment muscles. Mm -hmm. There you go, we just point your foot and flex. Yes, <laughs> good, so let's try the other foot. Yep, against that resistance, and you see the muscles here are getting a lot of good work, okay? And again, you do 10 to 12 of those. All right, next, I'm gonna kick away these resistance bands. Tennis ball. Let's step on it. And we're just rolling around the bottom of our foot. Mm -hmm. This helps break up adhesions, helps bring blood flow, and it feels good. Good. And you're secretly challenging your other foot because it's a balance pose. So you're getting strong on the other side too. All right, let's switch sides. Mm -hmm. You get a double workout. <laughs> Standing on the other foot. Good. Okay, let's kick away the tennis balls. Good. So a lot of times when the foot and the ankle are very tight and that Achilles tendon is really tight. It's really a whole posterior chain issue. So not just the calf, it's also the hamstring, the glutes, the low back, the shoulders, okay? So let's address some of those as well. This is a, these are hamstring dips. So we're just stepping with our heel on the mat. Yep. And then we're sinking our bottom down and sweeping the arms up. Mm -hmm. Good, do that a couple of times. Sweeping, and this is so nice for the hamstrings. Let's do one more. Good. Good, let's do the other side. That bottom goes back. Okay, I'm gonna just turn to the side so you see. 
my bottom is going back. Yep, and then when I do that, I'm stretching out this hamstring. So I'm dipping. Mm hmm Good. And one more. Very nice. Okay. What's next, Rowan? Ah, okay. We're gonna roll out our ankles. So we're just hands on your hips, nice tight belly, and we're rolling out. So keeping our toes on the mat, we're just lifting the heels and making little circles. Mm -hmm. Yes, this helps make some space between your metatarsal bones. Good, we're gonna go the other direction and switch feet. You might hear and feel a little cricking and cracking. <laughs> do you? Mm -hmm. Not really. Okay, I do. Maybe because I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next we have these towels. And this is so good for your toe strength. Um, you just lay a towel out in front of you and grab hold of it with your toes and try to crunch it all up, right? Well, until you get the whole length of the towel. My towel is not cooperating, there we go. <laughs> and then once you crunch it up, pause, and then uncrunch it. So now I'm pushing the towel away, the material is being pushed away. Yeah, until you get it all straightened out again. <laughs> look, how, look how straight mine is. <laughs> Okay, good, let's do the other side. We crunch the towel up. And then push it away. And really, it's just about feeling that exercise, that work in your toes. So of course, it doesn't matter if the towel gets straightened out or not, but as long as you're feeling the work. And again, this is a double workout because I'm leaning on one, this one leg here. If this doesn't work for you, you can always do this sitting down, okay? All right, that's it for the towels. Let's see, where are we? More, oh, balance board, okay. You want the balance board or the pillow? Balance board. Balance board, all right. This is the balance board. If you don't have one of these, no worries. You can use a pillow, okay? But the whole idea here is to keep yourself off balance and to, Find that place where you have to always use your lower legs to keep you steady, okay? So standing on a pillow does this. Standing on a balance board does this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the whole idea is to be off balance, right? So it's okay if you fall over. It's um, strengthening. And you can make it more harder by standing on one foot on a pillow or on the balance board. When Roman was very young, we used to have him do this on a mattress, on a bed. So that's also an option for you. Just standing on a mattress with one foot is this unsteady ground, right? Yeah. Okay, good. We do that little trick I do is I use the balance board when I brush my teeth. So I do it for like two minutes in the morning and two minutes in the evening every day. And it keeps my ankles healthy. Okay. All right. So now let's come on down. Is that too much fun? <laughs> too much fun. Okay. This is a cup filled with marbles. I have a few dozen marbles in here. For the sake of time, we're only going to show you with a couple, maybe two or three, okay? And again, this is a great exercise. I'll demonstrate it first while I'm talking and then, then Rome can, okay? So you would grab the marble with your toes and put it in the cup, okay? So the way to make this really, really efficient is to move the cup around, but keep your foot where it was. So in other words, I would have to grab a marble with my toes, if it works. <laughs> there we go. And now I have to move this way, okay? 
with my contracted toes. And if you move the cup around, then you have to grab the marbles with your toes and move this way now to try to get them in the cup. And oh, so, so good for strengthening toes, but also for the ankle. You wanna give it a shot? And the struggling is actually good because that's awesome. Because it's building, woo, building strength. <laughs> good. That's the one. I'll give you credit for that one. You want to try with your right foot? <laughs> want to try with your right foot, one of them? So one side is harder than the other, obviously, and that's okay. This is what we're building. Coordination, strength, flexibility, mobility, all the things. There it is. Get it in. It's stuck. You got credit for it. <laughs> all right. So let's come to a toe stand. So we're coming up on our toes, feet together, knees together. Okay, you can keep your hands on the mat for stability. But we're coming up as high as you can. So that's gonna look different for everybody, right? We're coming up as high as you can. And this might be exactly what you need right here. Keep your hands on the mat for more stability, okay? And bring your knees as close together as you can. There you go, that's the way. Now, some people can let go of the mat altogether, and then I'm feeling all my little muscles in my feet do all kinds of work, okay? Good, okay, good, come over this way. Make sure we're in the, in the frame, there we go. So now, let's sit on our heels. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see when you stay that way, right? So everyone's flexibility is different, so keep that in mind. I happen to have extremely flexible feet, so your, your shape might not look exactly like this, but the idea is to stretch the front, the tops of our feet. So let's just sit on our feet for a moment, and this might be all the stretch that you want today. But if you want to go further, you would lean back a little bit and try to lift your knees up. Okay, and this really, really targets the front of the feet. You want to give it a shot? Mm -hmm. Good stretch. Put your hands down so you can balance. Yes, and it's a nice stretch. Good. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So let's do ankle circles. So we're just going to hold on to our knee. And so lift up our leg. And then we're just doing some circles with our feet. Mm -hmm. And then go the other direction. And here again, you would do it for, you know, maybe a minute straight. All right, let's spread out toes and crunch them. Spread and crunch. Good, let's do the other side. Hold on to that knee, circles. And you would go the other direction. Spread the toes, crunch. Spread and crunch. Very nice. Okay, this next one's fun. It's a lunge. I'm gonna just have you pad your knee, okay? Because this could get, we're on hardwood floors. I, if you're on a rug, this might not be uncomfortable, but for us it is, because we're on hardwoods. <laughs> okay. So you get something, a cushion to put under your knee if that's what you need. And we're gonna come into this half kneel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe move back a little room so they can see you. Yeah. And all we're gonna do is lean into that front foot, okay? It's a good ankle stretch. Yes. And if you need to, you put your hands on the mat, okay? 
and then push it back to standing up nice and tall. And when you do that, lift up your heel and then lift up your toes. Heel and toes. Yes. Okay, and then we're just gonna sit back and stretch out that hamstring like we talked about earlier, how that's important too. Yes. Good. And come back up. Remember, none of this has to look perfect. This is just you and your body. All right, let's switch sides. Good, let's lean in. flexor stretching too as a little bonus. All right, come on back. And now you can bring your toes up and heel. Toes and heel. Toes and heel. We're strengthening and getting good mobility. Good. All right. Now let's sit. <laughs> All right, so other ways to strengthen your feet and ankle and lower leg is to walk around barefoot. Um, of course, walk around somewhere you're not gonna get cut with anything, but walking around the front lawn, in the grass, finding places that are not even, okay? Do it in a safe way, have someone with you, but walking around um, on dirt or grass where it's a little uneven, is so good for your toes and all the muscles of <laughs> muscles of your of your feet and your lower leg and it'll make your ankles stronger too all right i hope you enjoyed this i hope it benefited you the youtube channel is called yoga for you and i have a playlist with a whole bunch of videos specifically for people with cerebral palsy and roman is in all of those so until next time god bless you and take care.